Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Greg. And on a previous video, we talked about the Workhouse TS21 flashlight. We did an unboxing and the first impressions video. And since then, this has turned out to be one of my favorite flashlights in the entire collection. So much so that even my wife wanted her own unit, so we got her her own Workhouse TS21. The only difference is she got the 5000K version and I have the 6500K version. So if you would notice, the 5000K is warmer and the 6500K is a cooler white. But both run from 1 lumen to 3500 lumens. And both run on 21700 lithium ion batteries which have really long run times. Another great thing about this flashlight is it runs on an Anduril UI. So you have stepped ramping or smooth ramping depending on what you want. What I also like about this flashlight is the pocket clip. The pocket clip goes right near the top. So only a little bit of the flashlight sticks out of your pocket if you decide to do a pocket carry. Okay. So even if this is a quite a big flashlight, if you stick it in your pocket, not much of the flashlight sticks out okay if you've seen some of my other videos you'd know that i don't believe in backups i believe in redundancy and if i use this as my primary flashlight i would need a secondary flashlight and a secondary flashlight that I like to pair with my TS21 is another workhorse. This is the HD20. This is an older model of a workhorse and they market this as a headlamp. Okay? I actually found it funny when I saw the pocket clip of the TS21 and it had the double back pocket clip which actually can be used as a headlamp but I wouldn't know of anyone who would practically use this thing unless they want to exercise their neck because it's a really heavy flashlight to use as a headlamp okay and even more so, the HD21, which is actually supposedly designed as a headlamp, this thing is even larger than the TS21. Okay, and this is a forehead mounted headlamp. Okay, and it's actually kind of heavy for a headlamp as well. Alright, but what is interesting about the HD21 is that what comes in the box okay I haven't used this yet okay so because it's marketed as a headlamp it comes with a head strap okay and a tube that adapts 18650 batteries for your HD20 so you can use 18650 batteries for your HD20 which uses a 21700 okay in a pinch however you can just get an 18650 you'd notice the difference in the size of 
a 21700 and an 18650 okay you can pop the 18650 into the adapter tube stick that into your flashlight and you can use an 18650 on your flashlight but as i said in a pinch you don't even need the tube just pop in the 18650 there's gonna be a gap okay and it will tend to shake in the flashlight but in an emergency if that's all you got it will still work right. and the 18650 would also work on the TS21 you see the gap and it will shake but as I said if that's all you got and you forgot to bring your adapter tube the flashlight will still work technically the flashlight is actually pretty light all right what makes these flashlights big and heavy is this lithium ion battery which gives our flashlight its really long runtime for the HD20 there are a lot of reviews you can go check them out on YouTube okay I love this flashlight because you can hang it on your on your vest or on the shoulder straps of your backpack okay or even the the pen hole on your work shirt okay so you have a hands-free lighting option instead of putting this big thing on your forehead one good application or use for the head strap that came with the HD 20 is actually for, not for this flashlight itself but for the TS 21 you can actually use the head strap for the HD20 and use that for the TS21 and I find this even more useful especially if you mount it on the side if I use these flashlights as a headlamp I find it more comfortable to have the flashlight on the side of my head instead of in front okay especially because of the weight of this flashlight okay you can put the head strap directly on your head or on your cap or even on your skull guard okay. so if weight is still a concern there is actually a solution that we can do so that we can carry these flashlights more easily we can get some of these okay what's this thing this is a short tube okay that adapts to your HD 20 or your TS 21 and shortens the flashlight okay and it will accommodate a 2350 battery okay so this will fit in that and we can do do away with the huge 21700 battery I don't know if you can see so comparing these batteries first we need to remove the pocket clip okay and then untwist 
the original 21700 tube, the body tube of the flashlight, okay, and use the short tube pop in a 2350 lithium ion rechargeable battery you it's an option if you want to put the pocket clip again and you have a much smaller package for your HD 20 Okay, this is at the HD20 now is actually just a little bit taller than the 21700 battery that it used. So if we can do that on the HD20, we can also do that for our TS21. So let's remove the pocket clip. get another short tube uh, daddy uh, we bud we bud what daddy i bud i bud daddy what that what's that it's a flashlight yeah i'm talking about the flashlight hello okay where was i so for the ts21 we removed the pocket clip remove the tail cap remove the 21700 battery you can then unscrew the body tube okay screw in the 2350 body tube okay pop in the battery Okay, we replace the tail cap. Okay. So this is how tall your TS21 now is. It's actually almost the same height as the 21700 battery. And let me borrow my wife's TS21. Okay, so, so on my hand, okay, in addition to the HD20, so this pair now is a really great EDC. Okay, another advantage to shortening the body tube on these flashlights is that because there is a decrease in the weight the magnets on the tail caps do a much better job in letting them stick to a metal surface instead of what used to happen is that it does stick okay but it tends to slide down because of the weight of the flashlight itself so if you found this helpful please consider subscribing if you have any comments or suggestions put them in the comment section and if you have your own ts21 or hd20s and you did this uh, conversion okay tell me about your experience and let's get a discussion going so Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.